Welcome to Evolution. My name is Andre Lawrence and my channel is about the transition from gas-powered cars to electric cars as a first-time EV owner. If you're new to the channel and you like my videos, please click the thumbs up. I would also really appreciate if you could click the subscribe button. It helps motivate me to create more content. If you've already subscribed, I'd like to say a big thank you because I was able to reach my second personal goal of 250 subscribers. My next personal goal is 500 subscribers and with the help of the community and you, I'm sure I can reach it. So once again, thank you very much for helping. At the end of my last video, the forgotten features of the 2019 Kia Niro EV, I mentioned I'd be going on a quick road trip with my family to Lake George, New York. We went, I recorded some video. And if you want to find out what happened, stick around, I'll let you know in 10 seconds. The trip from Brassard, Quebec to Lake George, New York is only about 255 kilometers. This is easily achieved as the Kia Niro EV has over 400 kilometers of range, even though in highway driving conditions the range is less than that. With the car fully charged and all of the menus reset to zero, we headed off. Since this trip was only about 250 kilometers, I didn't bother using the website A Better Route Planner. If you're not familiar with this website, I'll put a link to it down below, but essentially what it does is it tells you where you should stop, what percentage you should charge your battery to, and how much you'll have left when you arrive. It's a really good tool for longer road trips. The other advantage is that it tells you the elevation of the road, and something that I didn't account for is driving to New York was mostly uphill. So the average use of electricity in kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers was higher than I expected. It still wasn't a big enough problem to have me worry about the range since the car has plenty in it for this trip. Something to note using a better route planner, as you can see in this map, there were no chargers really on the route that we were taking to get to Lake George, New York. Essentially all of the chargers were on the route heading to Plattsburgh on the other side of the body of water. If you've never been to Lake George, New York, it's a pretty nice place to visit. There are some interesting things to see, and I enjoyed the time I spent there with my family. The biggest issue is being a new YouTuber. When I got to the charge point charger, which is not very far from the main strip, I forgot to set up my camera equipment because I was more concentrated on spending time with my family and taking my vacation than making this YouTube video, which is something I had in the back of my mind when we left. I just totally forgot to take the video. With that being said, thanks to PlugShare, I was able to grab pictures of the exact place where we parked as well as the charger. And thanks to Photoshop, I was able to get a little bit closer and show you exactly how it works. Essentially, all you really have to do is have the ChargePoint app installed on your cell phone, have an account created, and then put your credit card in the app. Once there, you have to click on the map that shows you where the charge point locations are. It finds you by GPS. Then all you have to do is click on start my charge in the app and the charger starts charging the car. Something I find disappointing is that parking in this entire area is payable at two bucks an hour and you can only pay with coins. It's kind of ridiculous. The EV charging is two dollars an hour. So at four bucks US an hour, it's a little bit pricey for a level two charger compared to what we have here in Quebec. So what's it like the road trip in the 2019 Kia Niro EV? It's amazing. Drive the car at normal highway speeds, set the cruise control, plug in your cell phones, turn on the AC, set the ventilated seats, listen to the radio, and drive it like a normal car. And you get great range. With a round trip of about 538 kilometers and 9% left at the end with only four hours of level two charging in Lake George, this car has fantastic range. If you've made YouTube videos and you've posted them online, hats off because now that I've made a few I realize how much work it is to actually make something that's half decent. And anybody who's actually made a road trip video, you guys are saints. I don't know how you do it. This is the first one that I've made and there are going to be more but holy crap. What an enormous amount of work and it's not that it's difficult, it's just really time consuming. You take a road trip, you drive for several hours, and then you've got to go through all of the video to edit out the bits that you want and make it interesting for people to see. So anybody who does that, I think of off the top of my head, Bjorn Nyland, he makes 
road trip videos on a regular basis, driving for hours on end. I just don't know how he manages to put it all together in a short amount of time. The editing is, is crazy. So, good for you. <laughs> Anyhow, I try to find new ways to film my car and myself to make it a little less repetitive, but specifically to make it different than other channels that are out there. And I'd have to say that this is by far the second most uncomfortable and at the same time comfortable position because A, I'm lying down, and but B, my knees are like pushed up against the dash because to get my face into here, I have to move the seat all the way forward. Anyhow, if you know what this t-shirt's about, then put a comment in the comment section below and hats off, I love it, it's a classic. If you've been to Lake George and there's something that you saw that I didn't necessarily put in the video because, well, there was a lot of footage, let me know about it in the comment section below as well and maybe if I go back with my family, we'll go have a look. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up button and I would really appreciate if you could subscribe to help me get to my next goal of 500 subscribers. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions for future videos, please put them in the section below. And as always, thanks for watching.